I present to you a list of common misconceptions direct from wikipedia.com. Triple checked for accuracy. Great Wall of China? Not visible from the moon. Richard Halliburton is on record as having made this statement decades before any kind of moon landing. Man, lying about how big something is. Shocker! Searing meat does not cause meat to lock in the moisture. In fact, you may actually lose some of the moisture that you were intending to gain. All it does is create a rich brown crust around the meat that's very flavorful, so it gives the illusion of more moisture where there isn't any. I mean, I could probably throw in another sex joke about moisture here, but... It is totally not harmful to a baby bird to pick it up from the ground and put it back in its nest. The mother will not reject it, and you're probably a bad human being if you just leave it there to die. What? There's not actually anybody there. I'm alone. So alone. <laughs> so, uh, bro, uh, if humans evolved from monkeys, then... Why are there still monkeys? No, humans did not evolve from monkeys in the first place, okay? Humans and monkeys, chimpanzees, modern day primates all share a common ancestor, okay? That's how evolution works. Numerous double blind experiments have now proven that sugar does not make any difference in the hyperactivity of children and any difference in behavior is purely psychological. Gum swallowers of the world, rejoice! You probably thought I said something different. Swallowing chewing gum definitely doesn't mean that it stays in your digestive system for seven years or six months or 200 hours or whatever you've been told. The only thing that's true is that it's probably going to come out looking the same as it did when you put it in. Ho hopefully you put it in your mouth, not in your One of the more horrifying common misconceptions is that apparently 41% of American adults believe that humans and dinosaurs coexisted. Never. Never happened. I, like, I don't even know what would give you that impression. Like, Hollywood movies, like, The Land Before Time. Any humans in that? No. Jurassic Park. Okay, Jurassic Park. Um, we're back. That also had humans in it. Um, you know what? I, I think I am starting to see maybe who would be responsible for... Drinking eight glasses of water a day is neither necessary nor recommended to maintain your health. Sorry, Aquafina. Bats, as a species, are not blind. The idea that lightning can't strike the same place twice is completely false. There's no reason why it shouldn't, and in fact, the Empire State Building gets struck about 100 times per year. Thomas Alva Edison was not the first person to invent this little baby. He was actually the first person to make it practical in 1880, but in 1881, Joseph Swan made an even more efficient design. No props to Joseph Swan. That's Thomas Edison for you. Kind of an asshole. It's perfectly all right to eat before swimming. I mean, come on, have you ever actually heard of anybody who drowned that way? Drinking, however, is a different story. There are a lot of people who have drowned by being extremely drunk and then getting into a pool. Don't mess around with it. Photographic memory doesn't exist. If you think you have it, you're ill-informed. You're certainly able to have a highly detailed and very specific memory, but it's probably through the use of memnonic devices, not just a natural ability. Napoleon really wasn't that short, nor did he have a Napoleon complex. He was actually about five foot six, which I guess by today's standards is kind of short. I'm five foot six, but uh, he was also often seen with imperial guards who were very much above average height and thus made him look a bit shorter. That's all I have for you guys tonight, but the rest of the common misconceptions can be found with a link in the doobie doo. And I think that's all. Oh wait, actually it isn't. More updates coming soon. I promise.